Hi guys, so today we're going to be reading this book called The Legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin, written by Joe Triano and illustrated by Susan Batana. I'm guessing this is Spookly the Square Pumpkin. Because he is square and he is a pumpkin. One day in the pumpkin patch, the strangest little pumpkin hatched. Spookly wasn't like his friends. They each had curves. He had ends. Spookly was different. He was odd. He was rare. Spookly the pumpkin wasn't round. He was square. Oh, have you ever seen a pumpkin that was square? Like Spookly? Mm. While the round pumpkin had fun rolling along, poor Spookly sat there shaped all wrong. He tried and tried with all his might, but he couldn't budge. He just sat tight. The other pumpkins teased him because he was square. Spookly wished he was round and could roll roll everywhere. You should never tease anyone, right? That is until one night they all discovered It's fine to be round when the weather is fair, but there's a time it's better to be square. Hmm, I wonder what they mean by that. Halloween was just a day away when a mighty storm blew across the bay. It tossed the round pumpkins to to and fro, it snapped their wands, then off they'd go, bouncing left, slamming right, banging, bashing, what a sight! Spooky, spookly sat there, filled with fright, but glad to be scared that night. I would be glad to be scared if I were those pumpkins. Suddenly the fence gave away, three pumpkins rolled out, and into the bay. Oh no, what is, what's going to happen to the other pumpkins? Spookly knew what must be done. It was up to him. He was the one. He te- teetered, he tottered, he tipped, he tried, and finally flipped. He was on his side. Again, he tipped. Again, he flopped. Again, he flipped. And then, then he stopped. Right in the gap there where the fence had snapped, he blocked the way the hole was capped. All the pumpkins shouted, Hooray! Spookly the square pumpkin has saved the day. Then a pumpkin hit him with a whack. He thought... His shell would start to crack. Then another one hit him with a thump, and another one with a smack. Oh no, what's going to happen? Then one by one, a ton of pumpkins piled on the stack, with a bang and a bash and a crunch and a crash, and then it all went black. Oh, oh. I wonder what's going to happen right now. At dawn, when the storm had stopped, the farmer came out and keached, checked the crop. He picked his pumpkins up one by one and laid them out in the warm, dry sun. And when the last was moved away, the farmer could see what had saved the day. An odd-shaped pumpkin, sort of in a dense was wedged against the broken fence. Its shell was bruised, its stem was too. 
but there was a brave little Spookly sitting straight and strong and true. Right then and there, the farmer knew of all the seeds he'd ever sown. Spookly was the most special that he'd ever grown. And the next year, when it was time to sow, the sow those seeds in every row, the, and he watered and weed and watched them grow. And oh, that morning about mid June, when the pumpkins patch began to bloom, there were tiny pumpkins everywhere, hundreds and hundreds, most of them square. But oh. What? Some were cubes and some were re- rectangular. Some were flat and others were triangular. There was a bed of bright red ones and two rows of blue. There were polka dot pumpkins and rainbow ones too. There were thousands of colors and hundreds of shapes. Oh, what a garden variety mix. Oh, wow, those are interesting pumpkins. Now every year on Halloween, Spookly's patch is quite a scene. People come from far and near to see what wonders grew that year. They stop, they walk, they gaze, they stare. Then they pick up a pumpkin that's round, triangular, and perfectly square. Now... You know the story of how Spookly grew. Maybe someday you'll tell someone too, and they'll go to tell who'll go to tell another. And maybe one day we'll all we all will discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover. The end. And I also want to say that last page taught me a lesson. To not make fun of someone and to not judge the person, book, or anything by how they look. So I hope you like the story, the legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin, and you also learned a lesson. Bye. That's all for today. Bye.